Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can say what no man can say. Jesus, only you can change every situation at all. Only you can do what no man can do. Amen. Lord, as we dive into your word, speak to us, teach us, let us understand in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're talking about life is like crushing. Life is like crushing um, rocks with your teeth. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. This is when Jesus was talking to his disciples and they were asking him, who can make heaven? Jesus said, like, going to heaven, it would be like a camel passing through the eye of a needle. So it was like, it's going to be hard. You being a Christian, it's going to be hard. Because there was a rich guy trying to be a Christian and trying to be a lover of Christ. And he didn't make it. I mean, he couldn't. So follow Jesus and just said, it's going to be hard. It's going to be, ah, uh. <laughs> you know, uh, disciples were like, who, who can't make heaven? God said, Jesus said, no, no, listen, listen, listen. With God, nothing is impossible. So first I want to see life is, let, let's be honest. Life is like crushing rocks with your teeth. You have to produce results. You have to be great. You have to be awesome. You have to be that productive Christian, like the, um, the story about a person with talents, you have to do something with your talent or you get penalized for it by God. You have to be an awesome parent. You have kids. You have to be a perfect husband, a perfect wife. You have to be a perfect worker at work. You have to produce results. You have to be a great parent. Like you have to be a good student at school. So many things. And above all of this, you have this mind that keeps on having dreams inspiration goals ambitions you know ah uh, your mind is like how do i do this how do i get that done how do i get this done how do i get that done it's like just so many things you just want to do with yourself there's so many things you are empowered by god to do but how do i get all these things done like one of the things people ask me is, how do we get? How do you get all these things done? You're always on Facebook doing videos. You're on Twitter dropping tweets. You're doing this. You're at work. You're traveling the world. How do you do all these things? How do you do? How do you like all these things? So the question is, how, 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 how? I didn't shoot this video not to tell you how or to talk about how life can be hard. I just shot this video to tell you, yes, you can be great. But how to be a champion and, and be jack of all trades is this. Number one, you have to go back to the author of your life. You did not make yourself. Your DNA was not made by you. Your mind wasn't made by you. There's some weird reason you just love music than other people. For some weird reason you love art than other people. For some weird reason you love chocolate than other people. For some weird reason you like to act, you like to dance, you like to study hard, you like to sleep. <laughs> you know, you like to drink more water than other people. You like to eat more. I love to eat more. I love food. I love food. I love fashion. I love music. I love worshiping God. I love photography. You know, you just like so many things. Like me, I love so many things. I love IT. I love to write. I love to blog. I love to do videos. I love to talk to you. You know, so many things you love to do. And the question you ask yourself is, how can I get every single thing done? Go back to the one who made you. He knows why you are made with so many things in your life. He knows why he put art there, music there. He knows why he put the love of, uh, of the opposite sex in your heart so you can get married someday. He never made anyone to be alone, you know, except you want to put yourself out there and be like Brother Paul and like, you know what, I just don't want to get married. I want to have Jesus with all of my heart and all of my soul. I don't want to get married at all. And just want to give it all to Jesus. But if you're not like that kind of a person, like Brother Paul, and like me, you just, you know, you're just waiting for that beautiful person. Like me, I'm just waiting for my beautiful bride, you know. Do you, you know, you know, people like me, like we want to fall in love, like we want to get married someday. <laughs> I find that person, the bone of my bone, that kind of a talk, you know what I'm saying? If you're like me, you know. Don't try to do it on your own. Don't try to do life on your own because you have to have that perfect result. You have to find that perfect person. You, have, you know, you have to do so many things. Yes, 
starts with God. And Jesus said one thing, with God, nothing is impossible. But this is the truth of the whole ball game. You have to give God what he wants. Listen, when you have a dog, when you, like, people have dogs. So there's a reason when you go buy a pet dog, like a really tiny weenie dog, like a chihuahua or something like that, you know, those people, I mean, like, those tiny little dogs, you know, those little ones. You want that dog to play a function. To be a pet dog, to be lovable and caught, you know, you can just wrap it around you all the time and, you know, kiss it and, you know, play with the dog all the time. That's what you want to do with your dog. You know, you just want to have fun with your dog. Imagine that dog now tries to act like a Great Dane. It's like, woof, woof. It's always like eating a lot. You know, you bought a little tiny dog that can eat a little, you know, this much of food and can poop this much and can, you know, and keeps on acting like a Great Dane and eats everything and does everything. It's a big mess. It's a, it's a whole crap. Like, it's not doing what you want it to do. You got to throw the dog away. <laughs> I know, like, human people will, like, persecute me right now. But it's the truth. What would I do with a dog? I want the dog to act like a pet dog. is acting like a security dog. What do I do? The same thing with us as human beings. God wants us to act in a certain way. And what's that certain way? Obeying him. God wants you to obey him. He wants you to listen to him. He made you. There's the specific thing he wants you to do. The, your life is a mystery. God is a mystery. God made man in his own image. So he made, he's a mystery. You can't understand God. The same thing with you. You can't understand you. There's, you can try hard. You can try and be like other artists in the world. You can copycat of you can't you can never understand you never it's impossible that's just weird like oh my god i'm in love what's going on with my mind oh my goodness i can't i don't understand what's going on i feel right now like i should get married right now it's like oh my goodness i feel like i need chocolate right now i'm craving a cup of milk right now it's like you can't just understand you but god knows why he made you and he knows why you're crazy about things that other people are not crazy about so the number one reason is you have to go back to your author of your life. And it starts by this. You have to give your life to Christ. I'm going to talk about giving your life to Christ later. But you have to spend more time with God. I just need to get that scripture out. It talks about um, uh, the secret things belong to those who spend time with God. Secret things belong to... is in Psalms chapter 25. Things belong to those psalm 25 so you have to spend more time with god listen it's like for instance if you want to know the secret of a book you spend more time in that book you have to spend more time in that book if you want to know more about that book you have to spend more time in that book so that's the thing about God. Like you just have to spend more time with him. You have to spend more time with him. He will tell you the secret things about your life. It said this is in Psalms chapter 25. I will write it in the comment box of this thing. I don't know. Um, my stuff is taking time to find it. So you just have to spend more time with God. He he knows the secret. He knows why your hair is long. He knows why your feet are so short. He knows why your arms are long. Look, when they identify people in the Olympics, oh, why this person can do this is because this person has short legs, long arms, and this kind of thing. Because God made them that way so they can, they can do that thing. God knows why he wants you to do that thing. And it's going to make things work out for your good. So I encourage you today to go back to God. Another thing you should do while you are... Um, another thing you should do as a Christian is you should worship. Like, being a Christian is you should worship. You should worship. Spend more time in the presence of God. Put your two knees on the ground. God wants man to worship. Psalm chapter 25, I mean, chapter, this book of Psalms was written by a lot of things, about a lot of things. But the simple instruction was worship God. That was the simple instruction. Worship God. Worship him. Give him what, he, that's what he wants. He doesn't want, like, a man of God said one thing. He says, when you go to church, the word of God is for you. Like, when the pastor preaches, it's for you. Offering is for, you know, the church and all. It's a worship. It's something, you can't see the worship. You can't, you can feel it, but you can't see. It goes straight up to heaven. God wants us to worship him. 
Yeah, this is a Psalm 25 verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show him his covenant. Psalm 25 verse 14. God will show you his covenant. He will show you why you were made the way you are. Stop going to life to figure out who you are. Spend more time with God by worship. Worship is so important. Like when you keep on listening to, like I tell people, I said, when you want to, when people want to enjoy other artists in the world, excuse me one second. <coughs> when people want to enjoy other artists in the world, they go and grab like their song and play it. What happens to worship? Why don't we want to grab worship songs and play? Get good soundtracks. Get awesome sounds. I have like a little speaker right here. I'll show you. This little thing, I take it everywhere with me. I play worship songs everywhere I go. You know, the whole atmosphere has changed around me. I get good headphones, listen to quality music, spend money, join, find music apps like Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Red. You know, find good Christian songs, listen to God more. He just trains your mind to understand who God is, helps you get a feel of Him fast. Fast. Now we're in the Lent, Lent season where people are fasting and reminding themselves about God. You need to fast. Fasting is when you say, God, I back off. You know, I just want to try and survive the next few hours without me, without food, without water, without, you know, distractions about life. And I just want to focus on about you. You know, sometimes it's always good to take yourself on a retreat, like take yourself away from the world. That was one of the things I did on my uh, winter vacation. I went to Nigeria and I went for this 75 hours of constant worship to God, constant for 75 hours. You know, just take away yourself and say, God, I need you. I need you to help me, you know, to help me, to be my sustenance. It's like taking the batteries out of a car and saying you need the power of God to power it, you know, and... It's like taking, that's like taking your own back. When you fast, your spirit is still, you know. You're not like active and being everywhere. You know, you need to conserve that energy. You need the spirit of God to feel your heart and show you the right way to serve him. So another thing is read the Bible. Oh my goodness. You need the word of God in your life. You need to know that. Like Isaiah 41 verse 10 is a powerful scripture. It says, fear not, I am with you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. It's like God is saying, I will support you. Another powerful scripture is Psalm 91. Like sometimes we face a whole lot of, there are a lot of mountains in front of us. But Psalm 91, towards the end, it says, your feet, will, like you will crush the young lion. You will crush the lion. You will crush the dragon. You will crush the adder. Listen, do you know what a young lion is? Can you imagine using your feet to crush a dog, just a little puppy? You can't crush, it's hard. Imagine a young lion. Now imagine a lion itself. And imagine the dragon. God says you will use your feet to crush the dragon. That's the devil. You use your feet to crush the snake. That's why I'm saying life is like crushing rocks with your teeth. You need the power of God to do that. And Jesus said with God nothing is impossible. You can do all the things God has put in your mind. So keep on doing it. Evangelize. Remember what I said in the beginning that you have to do what God wants. You know, he made you. So you have to do what he wants. And what he wants is that you go out and share the gospel of Christ with other people. You go out. You can start by sharing tracks. I don't have my tracks right now. I could have showed you one of them. But you just go out and you just share tracks. With that, little by little, you go around your home. You go around your house. And you just want to just tell people, Jesus loves you. You know, Jesus loves you and things like that. So just go around and share the gospel. So that's, that's the ways you can be able to crush the rocks of life with your teeth. Another, let me tell you one of the powerful ways is this, and God has blessed me with it, is God does something with me. He gives me insight in how to deal with life. Insight. How do you get insight? Remember, Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret things of life belong to those who spend time with God. When you spend more time with God, He gives you the secret about life. Remember, God is a mystery. He made man in His image, so therefore you are a mystery. Therefore, you just figure out that your life, you cannot be figured out. You try to process your life with other things, like with other situations, with, and it doesn't just work out. So you just have to... Dwell more in God. When you spend more time in God in worship, His presence comes down and it begins to reveal secrets. It begins to tell you, do not talk to that girl. I know you're in love. Hey, young man, I know you're in love. 
but that woman is not for you. Young girl, I know you're so passionate, and I know time is going, and you want to just get married right now, but that guy is not for you. Hey, young man, I know you're done with college, and you've been looking for a job for so many years, that job is not for you. Or it says, hey, young girl, you got to go get that job right now. Just go and start working there. I know it's just a little coffee shop. I know you're just trying to sell these things. I know it's not kind of a job that max you like your reputation, but just go do it. I'll be with you in it. It was one of the things I faced when I was trying to get a job. Like, I'm like, God, I'm like, uh, that job looks awkward. I'm like, mm, nah, that's that's not my thing, you know. Um, you're going to pay me, you're going to pay me some change. I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't want, God said, just go do it. And God bless my soul. Oh, my God, this is the best job in the world right now. Like, But, but before I started, I'm like, oh. Man, I'm not sure I want to be doing this right now. Like, uh, not sure. But God just stepped in and, whoo, hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord. So I just want you to know that you need to remove the distractions of this world. You need to, like, tear all the distractions. I do not have, I do not own a television. I do not pay for cable because it's a complete distraction of my time and a waste of it. Tune out distractions, reduce your friends, cut them down to even zero. If you cannot find a friend that talks about Christ and pull you to Christ, you do not have friends. You just have time wasters. If you do not have people that can talk about Jesus or you can talk about your faith with, I'm sorry to say you do not have friends, you have time, people who are just going to waste your time because they're not going to talk about faith, they're not going to improve your faith. Cut bad friends away. But most importantly, I know some people have things like, um, people have issues like uh, uh, social media and things like that. Just make sure you tune it down and focus more on God so your life is being improved, your life is being changed. He will reveal secrets about your life. So right now, I'm just going to pray for everybody right now. I'm going to pray for everyone right now. Lord, I call me every single person listening to us, listening to us, yes, me speak through the soul spirit speaking through me. And, Lord, we are all human beings. We all have issues. We all have a lot going on in our hearts, a lot going on in our minds. We want to be this, we want to be that. We want to fall in love. We want to get married. We want to have kids. We want to have that job. We want to create our company. But, Lord, everything just seems so mysterious. We don't even understand it. Sometimes we're just afraid to put our knees down and pray to you. God, give us the strength. Give us the grace. Give us the ability to serve you with all of our heart. Lord, we know you love us. We know. We know so much that you love us. But help us. Give us the courage to love you back. Give us the grace to love you back, to, to give this heart back to you. You know, you made us to be yours, Lord. Just help us serve you more. Lord, please give us the strength to give us the grace. And to those who have not given your life to Christ, just, just say these words after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come and be my Lord and my personal Savior. Come, come and help me to serve you more, Lord. Please, I need you right now. Give me the strength to serve you. Give me the grace to be proud of you, that you are my Christ. Lord, just give me the grace, Lord. I need you now, Lord. Jesus, amen. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, let me serve you all in my heart. Amen. So get a Bible. Join a Bible-believing church. I love you all. A lot of people joined in this sermon. I love you. Like, if you want to talk, you just want to get out and talk, just feel free to message me. I love you. God bless you. Bye. Oh, I got to sing a song because God has been so good. This is like the best broadcast I've done in a long time. It goes like this. Uh, you have given me victory, uh, Jesus. You have given me victory, uh, Jesus. You have given me victory. Bye.